Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you my flight experience in Etihad Business Class from Abu Dhabi to Paris. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Whenever you get to fly out of Abu Dhabi, you have this dedicated room for the check-in area for business and first class passengers. After I checked into my flight, I just walked straight into the immigration area dedicated for business and first class passengers. It's so handy. After the security check, you will get to see the duty free area. After the duty free area, I just went straight into the business card lounge. There's a lot of selections of food and drinks. I'm not going to be able to show you everything, but this is what you can see. Um, there's a number of things. I was a bit hungry. I went for a loaf of food, white wine and sparkling water. A large selection of drinks is available at this bar. Just give it a try. I'm sitting in a business card house for Eddie Hut now. Um, doing my check-in, it was quite smooth, but I had to wait in the queue for um, some time. So um, it took me a bit of time just to um, check myself in. And because of the COVID vaccination certificate, that people didn't really inform the alive before as well. Um, you know, tonight I'm, I'm going to fly to, from Abu Dhabi to Paris in France um, with Etihad in a Boeing 787 Dreamliner visit class and that's the, that's the reason why I'm sitting in this lounge now. Um, this lounge is a business car lounge available for business and first car passengers. I'm not sure if the first car passengers got a separate lounge, um, better quality lounge. But at the moment, um, you know, I'm sitting here just to enjoy the wine. Uh, I already got champagne and also um, a little bit of food so I didn't want to fill myself up too much well pretty awesome yeah uh, first time in Abu Dhabi and first time in this lounge and you know I can show you um, the lounge got a dedicated bar for people to just to enjoy um, a lot of drinks a lot of selection of drinks and so um, this is magnificent and now I'm having a red wine. They got a number of red wine selections. Um, I got the um, Cabernet. Um, they also got Chirac, which I will go for the next one as well. So I finished my shower, and you can see the shower room is quite huge. And they got the conditioner, uh, shampoo, uh, so the soap. Over here, they got the body lotion and the so the soap. But I didn't really use any from here. Huh? I only use like shampoo and the soap over there. So yeah, um, pretty much quite clean. And um, to unlock you, you just need to buy stuff to green. Yeah, really simple. After a good shower, I went into a flight. This flight is a Boeing 787 Dreamliner Dash 10, which is a brand new version. Seats in business class are laid out in a one to one configuration. There are two menus food and drinks. The two menus come in two languages, English and Arabic. There are a lot of selection of drinks and food. For drinks, I normally go for wine. For food, I normally go for local food. Some of you might be a bit curious about food selection. They have the international food as well. If you can't eat the Arabic food or any type of local food, then you would just go for the international food Guys, 
this is my first time flying to Paris and in a business class with Etihad Airways. Now it's time for me to show you the toilet. Pretty much there is um, the wash basin, hand gel, and hand soap in the toilet. In the Dreamliner, in order to flush the toilet, you just put your hand above the sensor and the toilet will flush itself. This is really simple and this applies to any Dreamliner aircraft. Just good to know. Well, if you didn't know, the window shade is really easy to adjust. If you press the button pointing up um, to the light color, it's going, it's going to turn lighter. And if you press the button pointing down to a darker color, it's going to go darker. That's so simple. You can use all these buttons to adjust your seat. Play and landing mode, sleeping mode, and also reading mode. There is a universal power outlet underneath your seat. There is a mini LCD screen right next to you. You can use this LCD screen to adjust your seat. Uh, so there's a button for do not disturb. Imagine like you're in a hotel. This is pretty much the same situation. So when you press the do not disturb button, the crew will not wake you up, the crew will not disturb you. You can also adjust the firmness of your seat to be firmer or softer. The entertainment screen is a touch screen. It's really responsive. I could not complain. But there are not a lot of selection of movies and also music. I think this is a room that Etihad can improve on. There is also Wi-Fi connectivity on the flight, but you need to pay a small fee. I was a bit hungry, so I tried out the light meal with some white wine and also chips. Before I went to sleep, I went for a selection of cheese and red wine. It was pretty awesome. And um, you know, I had a few drinks before I got to sleep. For well, in my bedtime, I made this bed myself by pressing a sleeping mode button. It's really, really handy. There was a lot of headroom for me to sleep. I was feeling so comfy. After I woke up, I was fed with this Arabic food. It's a local selection on the menu. It was really, really nice and healthy. And this has brought me to the end of my flight review. I was really happy with the crew on the flight and the food was nice, the selection of drinks was awesome. Um, yeah, this time around, I say um, it's one of my uh, best flights that I flew with Etihad. And yeah, I will just come back again if I have a chance to fly with Etihad in the future. Before I say goodbye, I hope that you stay safe from COVID-19 and um, travel safe. Um, see you in my next video about the flight reviews. Thanks so much for your support and have a lovely day.